NASA has shown a video supposedly making a comparison between the video filmed from the lunar module of Apollo 11 and what has been photographed by the LRO. By showing that what we see on the video of the descent of Apollo 11 and what the LRO has photographed is close, NASA claimed to have given the proof that Apollo 11 was real. This video has even been commented by Armstrong. The media see in this video the doubtless proof that Apollo 11 was real. However there are differences between the video filmed from the lunar module of Apollo 11 and what has been photographed by the LRO which make them incompatible with each other. This video shows these incompatibilities. So the video produced by NASA, far from proving the reality of the Apollo 11 mission, much to the contrary proves the fraud. Between what the LUMS camera sees and the LRO photo there are differences which can be explained by the difference of perspective. The LRO has a vertical view of the lunar ground. All objects are homogeneous on the photo, that is they have a comparable relative size. For the LUM, it's much different. The camera has a more horizontal view of the lunar ground in bias. The objects which are closer to the LUM that is on the bottom of the video, appear relatively bigger than those which are farther, that is on the top of the video. This makes that the LEM and the LRO see the lunar ground under different perspectives. However some hints are allowed to see that the perspective under which the LUMS camera sees the lunar ground is incorrect, provided that the LRO photo is supposed reliable. At the beginning of the video, the LUM is approaching the lunar ground. We can still see the horizon. When the LUM comes closer to the lunar ground, the horizon becomes no more visible for the LUM is too close to the lunar ground. We can see several holes of the lunar ground on the Apollo 11 video. One of them is circled and also on the LRO photo, so it is possible to identify on the LRO photo which hole the LUM is currently above. Several lunar holes have been circled with corresponding colors. There cannot be any error for these holes are successively circled along the video. A quadrilateral has been drawn with four corresponding lunar holes both on the Apollo 11 video and on the LRO photo, and we can see that the quadrilaterals of the Apollo 11 video and the LRO photo are much different. It requires a great deal of imagination to find that they are the same, even taking into account the difference of perspective. The LUM continues to progress and has come closer to the triangle of holes which is previously visible in the background. Several holes have been circled with corresponding colors on the Apollo 11 video and the LRO photo. Once again, there can be no mistake. So the holes are successively circled along the video. A red triangle has been drawn with the three important holes both on the Apollo 11 video and the LRO photo. This triangle is isosceles on the LRO photo, but irregular on the Apollo 11 video. However, it is not necessarily abnormal, for it can come from the difference of perspective. On the right of the right side of the triangle we can see a little hole which is a little closer to the summit of the red triangle than to the right hole of the base of the triangle on the LRO photo. A yellow triangle has been drawn by joining this hole to the two closest holes of the red triangle. On the Apollo 11 video, this little hole is much closer to the right hole of the base of the triangle, but it is not necessarily abnormal, for it can come from the difference of perspective. However there is a relationship between the two triangles, and it is in this relationship that the anomaly lies, like it is going to be shown on a visual example. Stones have been put on the ground and placed so they form an isosceles triangle like on the Apollo photo. The stone which has been circled represents the hole which is the closest to the limb. A little stone has also been placed on the right of the right side of the triangle, and at equal distance of the two stones of this side. On this view the camera has been lowered, and a more horizontal view of the triangle of stones has been taken. The camera has been placed on the left of the summit of the triangle. And what can we see? We can see that the left side of the triangle is longer than its right side. 
we can also see that the little stone appears slightly closer to the summit of the triangle than to the right stone of the base. On this view, the camera has been placed on the right of the summit of the triangle. And what can we see? We can see that the right side of the triangle is longer than its left side. We can also see that the little stone now appears quite closer to the right stone of the base. Let's compare the Apollo view with my first side view with the camera on the left of the triangle summit. We can see that on both views the left side of the triangle is longer than its right side. The conclusion is that the lens camera was on the left of the closest hole. But we can see that the little hole is quite close to the right hole of the base whereas, on our view it's to the summit of the triangle that it is closer so there is a disagreement on the position of this little hole between the Apollo view and our view. Let's now compare the Apollo view with our second side view with the camera on the right of the triangle summit. We can see that on our view it's the right side which is the longer one, whereas on the Apollo photo, it's the left side. We here have a disagreement between our photo and the Apollo view. On the other hand we can see that like the little hole on the Apollo photo, the little stone is now quite close to the right stone of the base of the triangle. We now have an agreement on the position of the little stone hole relatively to the main triangle. So if we consider the little hole, we can conclude that the lens camera was placed on the right of the closest hole. So, to conclude if we consider the right triangle, the lens camera was placed on the left of the closest hole. But if we consider the yellow triangle the camera was conversely, placed on the right of the closest hole. Wow, the Apollo camera has magical properties. It can both be placed on the left and the right of a lunar hole. Then the lens continues to make progress, and we can see several holes be circled both on the Apollo video and the LRA photo which allow to follow the progression of the lens. At one moment we have the view which is shown here. Three holes of the Apollo video and the LRA photo have been circled with corresponding colors. There can be no confusion on these holes for these holes are consecutively circled during the video. Lines have been drawn between the holes, and the angle which is shown between these lines is a little greater on the Apollo video than on the LRA photo. You might think that it comes from the difference of perspective. That's the whole problem. Three stones have been placed on the ground which symbolize the lunar holes. The view on the left is a view from above and represents the way the LRO visualizes the lunar ground. The view on the right is a side view and represents the way the LUM visualizes the lunar ground. And what can we see on these views? We can see that the angle between the directions of the stones is smaller on the right view, the side view than on the left view, the view from above. That means that the perspective under which the lens camera sees the holes should make that the angle which is represented should be smaller on the Apollo view than of the LRO view, instead of being greater. We here have a clear contradiction. The NASA engineers were really fond of contradictions. So it's a nice video, but too bad that the holes don't have the same location on the Apollo video as they have on the LRA photo. So we can ask a serious question, if the lunar holes have moved between Apollo's time and Lyra's time. Dot is it because the moon is made of cheese?